Hi, and welcome to Walk Round Video about 1966 Triumph Herald 1250. This is a car that was restored 20 years ago with massive amounts of money spent on it and the quality that shows today. So I'm just going to walk around the car and just show you uh, the condition of the car. I've got the engine running. And you can see that the policy of restoration was really top notch. And even today it's uh, holding up really well. It hasn't done a lot of miles since the restoration actually. The engine's running. We had a fueling problem and we put a new fuel pump on it. And uh, the new fuel pumps tend to overfuel. So we put this regulator on just to prove the point. And we're going to move this out of the way and hide it away with longer pipe. But um, the car was gone through front to back literally. And as I say, you can see the quality of the paint. Even 20 years later, it's fantastic. We've done a little bit of work to the carburetor as well. And uh, move this off in a minute. Change a couple of the jets. The car runs reasonably well now. It wants a bit of a fine tune, but uh, it's not bad actually. It's quite responsive. We haven't taken it out on the road much because of the weather. It's uh, yeah, nice little engine. According to the heritage certificate, it's actually not the original engine, but it's actually an engine that's correct for this model. With the right numbers. Um, so going around the bodywork, if you just look on certain panels, there's one or two little marks. There's just a, a slight bit of bridge in there, which is quite common on these Triumphs in these seams. It's, they happen on the bonnets quite a lot. Um, but 20 years later, it's pretty good. And there's just a couple there that you'll see. The car really deserved to have them done because um, it is that good. All the metal work is just so crisp. You can just feel the edges, you know, it's just absolutely perfect. It's done just like a new car, really. It's a bit dirty at the moment. I've got some bits in the boot as well, so uh, you're not going to quite see it at its 100% best. But you know, all the carpet's lovely. Um, if you lift this up, which I won't take it all out at the moment, but you can see the you know the paintwork is just really good. And everything was changed that needed to be changed. There was just no expense spared in this restoration. It's a little bit of pitching on the chrome now. Unless you're going to show the car, it's something I would leave. Rubbers on the bumpers, really good. Around this side's excellent. Again, just a couple of tiny marks. In 20 years use, it's, it's not bad at all. That rubber could just push down slightly, which it will do. Wheel, suspension, everything else are painted really nicely. I'm just in the process of cleaning this up slightly more, but it's, it's so clean anyway, really. You can see the quality of the um, paint finish under the bonnet. It's just as good as it is on top. So that's the new fuel pump that we've just fitted. Heat is painted beautifully. I mean, they spent hours on this car. And the bill was saying you'd expect to put into an Aston Martin, really. As I say, the, the money that's been spent in this car is obscene, really. I'll just put the bonnet down. Which 
is not quite as easy with one hand. There's one tiny little mark there you can just probably make out. As I say, overall it's, it's, it's unbelievable, really. I never say something's the best because someone's always got one better, but um, it's not, it can't be far off. And, and it certainly could be made the best. And the story continues on the interior. It's a little bit dirty at the moment, but um, everything was renewed. There's, there's evidence of the seats being rebuilt totally. Um, carpets were all renewed. The dash is beautiful. Really top quality finish on that. You can see all the seat runners all, all were refurbished, all professionally. And all this has been documented as well. It's, it's literally, everything has been written down, it's been done to the car in that restoration. See the sunroof, all the headlining was done. And the guy was quite a wealthy guy, and he just done it for his wife. It was his wife's car, she had it for 40 years. And um, as I say, there was just no expense spared put into it. It really is something else. Old seat belts fitting in there again, back in there. Even the detail to the badging. It's colour correct as well. Um, got the heritage certificate through a couple of days ago and uh, it shows that the colour's correct and the interior colour's correct as well. So it was this colour from the factory. It really is a striking little car, this one. And uh, if I was in the habit of keeping cars, it's one I wouldn't sell. All the gapping is nice as well. This this door just juts out slightly at the bottom. But I think that could be improved because it's got a bit of gap at the top as well. But uh, again, as Triumph Heralds go, it's just amazing. Just everywhere you look, it's just like new. You know, I mean, underneath underneath the car, I can't get under at the moment, but uh, underneath the car, it's just like new. So there you go, we've been making more video anyway, and uh, if you need any more information, please call us on 07876 616 886, and thanks for looking.